Hey, uh, this is Jeremy, uh, Jay Shockyal, and I'm taping off the edges of this watercolor paper from Arches. Uh, I think it's a 120 some odd something, and it's a hot or cold press. I really don't know. It has a green cover to the package, and um, I'm gonna mix up a little wash with. Some terracotta India ink from the Bombay line, like Mr. Martin. And there you go. I really like, just was happy with the way that turned out because you know I just squirted some in there. There's like a random amount of water, random amount of ink, but I liked it. And then this was kind of an afterthought. Like I had to let, I let that dry for a long time. So I cut it out that, that I edited, edited that out. I, I mean, I didn't even film it, but <laughs> anyways, it dried for a long time before I tried to do this. And then I was actually just going to take the tape off and roll with uh, that one edge. But I thought this was going to be kind of cool. I didn't really care how perfect that was, you know, it was just close enough because I was going to line right next up, right next to it with a sharpie because that's what I'm lining with, not a brush <laughs> or a dip pen. I actually tried a dip pen first, um, not on this obviously, but I had a test out like, um, a little scrap piece of paper. That was my intention really was to do it with one of those um, dip pens, but I am not experienced with them at all. And I was not having a lot of luck with it. And I think it was a lot to do with the ink. like. And I don't know, but I, I've used a dip pen in the past. It's just been a long time, like probably five years at least. And I had different ink though for that lining. It was, you know, some, some other India ink, like thin, it was thinner. It, it was just, there was something about it. it. It had a better flow than the Bombay does on the pen. Like I love the Bombay for everything else and it's permanent so you can layer it up as much as you want and you won't wash out everything underneath and like re-wet stuff. So here's real time also so you can get an idea of like the pace of this. And you know, like I said, I think I said this, this is not a tutorial, I'm just trying to uh, you know, entertain myself, I guess, while we're on lockdown for COVID. And so lined all this crap. And just kept on rolling. And I don't remember how long it took to line or just to even get to this point. But total, it was like two hours and 46 minutes of what I filmed. I accidentally filmed this in 4K on my phone and that that proved to be like really hard to manipulate um, like move it around I was trying to get it off my phone and nothing was working you know it was like trying to send it send one of those videos and just everything was like now you know it's like I don't want I don't want to mess with this 
you know, I don't know. I was probably doing something wrong, but I did end up figuring it out. I ended up editing it on the phone. Anyways, um, just painting all this solid stuff first. And it sounded like a robot voice or something. I'm trying. I'm trying not to be like super loud because uh, my family's asleep, and I don't want to be super loud. So I feel like I have this weird range of tone, but you know, hey, deal with it, or you can mute me or whatever, you know, or just just click off of here. Just don't even don't even watch this crap. When I got done with the black, I really I liked the way it looks like it, like I was really feeling like this I was like man this would just be dope black and um, dope be dope but anyways I just didn't do that you know I wasn't like planning on doing that and then I just already had this this other vision and I was like based off of the uh, original grim painting reference that I found you know like Assuming that that information is correct. I don't know. I don't really know a lot about that stuff the history of tattooing and all that. I mean, I know what I know, but I Don't even I don't know if it's accurate. How many times can I say no or I don't or I don't know We'll find out. Let's tally it up I got on these little little things here and just around and around and around. No, I didn't think it was ever going to end. Also, I guess the reason I should explain this, the reason the reason that I'm I'm doing the voiceover is because I like anybody who's gotten tattooed by me knows I well, it's probably not me. This is Everybody listens to music when they tattoo, probably. I'm assuming everybody listens to music when they're tattooing. Is there somebody out there who... Like, has anybody got tattooed by someone who didn't listen to music? Or are there any tattoo artists out there who don't listen to music when you tattoo? If so, I don't understand that. But, you know, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying, I don't get it. I don't even know if that's a thing, but I mean, anyways, I listen to music while I paint too. That's the whole damn point. And uh, I, I don't know. Like, I don't think I'm allowed to put. Am I allowed to have music on here on YouTube? Let's, you know, is it just if you're if you're trying to monetize or? It's just you're just not allowed to have like somebody else's music. I don't I don't know the rules. That's the point. I don't know the rules. And I haven't looked them up. I'm not looking up the rule book. I'm just I'm just making a video. So I I got some real time of everything else. Like I don't know if I've highlighted that earlier or I, my memory is terrible. But like it slowed down and did real time of the line work and then like the fill. It, there was a spot where I don't. I know I didn't point that out. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go back and and add that in with some text or something. Which would be funny now because it's like Back to the Future in a way. That's it is kind of editing video is like t some kind of weird time travel if you think about it like that. And and really it's not at all. But See, I don't even remember what I was talking about. So here we go. We're, we're, we're working on the black. 
and we're just doing the black and you'll see what I see what I saw I bet when I get done with all the black and be like oh yeah it could be cool if it was just black and like probably do even more I'm still trying to figure out like how much black to use on this kind of deal you know I I, I was referencing the, the paintings that I found but I'm just saying like in general um, you know I'm not always like repainting classic designs I, I I'm just painting stuff sometimes and I don't know how where, like how much black and then I feel like I've done too much black sometimes but like I didn't I, I never I didn't see where the line was that I crossed it was just like when I got done I was like oh well that seemed like a good idea but no it's too much and I, I would I didn't even know like where it might take it away it was just it's like I like everywhere I put black but I should have done some edits so I got done with all those things and then I got on these stars and then those things kind of burnt me out on the spinning around and doing little stuff so I, I, I only did the big stars and I intended to do all of them and I didn't so there you go I was being lazy but you know this is like it's just a painting it was fun though this is really fun if there's like sounds in the background too that's like my ice maker I heard my ice maker earlier so I just don't want you to think that it's like some paranormal activity or something you know people go crazy over that stuff I actually don't know anybody who's gone crazy over that stuff I just maybe I do that that's probably what I do I'm like oh I heard a voice I heard something in the background now everybody's gonna be like oh yeah he's hearing voices but, you know that's not what I meant there you go see it's black looks good and here's the colors I used and you can see green red and golden yellow and I really like that's my favorite yellow uh, there's I tried the, all the other yellows um, I do well I like the ochre too but the ochre has this issue with the, like the brown the ochre sometimes I just don't they don't mix up the same See, like this red, it's just, the, the red flows so good. The red is the easiest one to paint with. Um, if you're doing like solid stuff, red is actually kind of tricky to fade out because, I mean, just this brand and my experience, you know. But it, like, it'll, it'll get real thin real fast just because, like, it flows so well, I guess. Somebody can chime in on the comments and be like well technically and then just go off you know let's do it just let, let us hear it let's let's get it so there's the, the way i hold my brush that's freaky i hold a pencil weird too i think like that the same way i think i hold my tattoo machine like that I don't, maybe everybody does I need to pay attention so I was telling my, um, my wife Stephanie earlier that part it kind of was a challenge like keeping my hand out of the wet paint because you know I was I was filming it and I was like I didn't want to just wait for everything to dry I mean this it would have taken forever so uh, I was dancing around that was part of it and then like normally I would just go all like if I could just reach it if it was a smaller painting I would just go all one color boom and then let it dry and move on and you don't even have to let it dry if you just you bounce around a little bit you know by the time you come back around to where that wet one was next to the new color 
it's already dry. That, that's not making any sense what I'm saying, but like that red looks a little pinker sometimes to me. But it's just the light, I think, from this. Like I have one light and it's I need another one. That was another thing, actually. I was trying to keep my hand out of the way of the shadow too. Like I think I actually I had ended up moving it, moving the light once or twice. I mean, nobody cares. <laughs> but anyways. Oh, I screwed up here. I think I slowed it down a little bit. Right here, I screwed it up and I got it in the in the eye. So I was like, oh wait, I'll just clean that up. And uh, But there was just too much ink right there and my brush was too big and I, I was like kind of panicking. Just funny, you know. But so I just went with it and was like, well, these eyes are going to be bloodshot now on this side and I just did it to the other side too and I liked it you know like again it's just, like it's just a painting uh, at the end of the day I'm just happy to like have the freedom to do one of these it's fun but you know these things I like think about them Anyway, I really liked this effect too. Like once the yellow started going on, I really liked the the way it, it was looking. So this is like quarantine therapy or something. Uh, the painting or like me talking to myself, I'm not sure, but either way. Like that orange, especially in this light, like the way it looks on on video, I really like the way it looks. It doesn't quite look like that in person, I don't think. And now I also kind of forgot. Um, Cause I don't have this anymore, it was a commission. But at the end of this, I've, there's a picture of it, and it's like, it's kind of kind of gives you an idea, I guess. I but I not really, I don't know, you know, I don't remember. It's definitely like closer though, at the in the picture. So I kind of was gonna leave. I think I intended to leave those black just the black shading at first but then I felt like I kind of forgot that when I was doing the black you know is probably what happened um, and I didn't I didn't put enough black and I'm like I'm not going around these again so to bump that contrast up I just put the green in and I ended up really liking that like I really I'm really glad I went that way. I think it would have been really nice black too, though. So, or would it? Maybe that would have been one of them deals, you know, where I put the put that black in, and then I'm like, ah, oh, crap, that's too much. This is like directly. I mean, I was just those cheeks right there. The way I I did those, or like next to the nose, even coming down. Um, that was directly from the original reference. I thought that was really cool. I guess I'll like pop those in here. It's cool I can say stuff like that and then they're on. It's just on the screen like Back to the Future. Alright, so I think it's we're almost done here. Yeah. I just wanted to add something else there. So next time I will do the drawing too. I'm starting an oil painting next though, so you'll have to just wait on that. Oh, see? Yeah. There you go. Alright, see ya.